understand about Saturn as it is now. That I mean, even though it's a planet in our own solar system, we still there's a hexagonal shaped pattern on the above the North Pole. We're not really 100% sure what causes it. space telescopes out there for an extended period of time and just stare at what is considered a black piece of sky. Once the images were developed, there were hundreds of thousands of galaxies, not just stars, galaxies, which are billions and billions of stars. Our sun is just an average size, average star at the edge of our galaxy. And to see that many more in a piece of sky that's no bigger than your thumbnail across when you hold it up at arm's length, that, that, that puts things in perspective. And it makes me more curious about what's out there. In my own opinion, to be so egocentrical as human beings are, and when you look at how, how the universe fits together, it just doesn't fit. Besides school, you can come to the gym, relax, work out, play sports, ultimate frisbee, football, badminton, whatever you want. And if you don't like the gym, there's plenty of other social activities, like going to the student nations, where you can have a meal or sit down and drink beer with your friends. The nations are not nearly as strict as that. The nations, to me, it's more uh, an op opposite thing. The nations here serve the students, the students don't serve the nations, whereas a fraternity, it seems to be the other way around. So what do we got going on tonight? We're going to NDC 3651. There is a group of people here, not just one or two, there is a group of people here in almost every aspect that can help you advance your career. Someone you can speak with, someone you can follow, model yourself after, research opportunities. Rotating the telescope into position or? It's going, it's going, it's going. Yeah. And then the dome. This is a dream come true. There, there's a lot of them. One of them is the research opportunities. Uh, you have the ability to follow any path you want. As a master's student, even though I'm in the astronomy and space profile, I'm welcome to switch to another profile. I'm welcome to take a class that's in the theoretical physics or the geophysics profile without having to worry about it affecting my astronomy and space profile. You're given independence to do whatever you'd like. It shoots a beam of light, either in the visible or the ultraviolet range, uh, hits a sample, in my case, a titanium nitride probe for NASA's future MMS mission. Uh, a student is allowed to pursue anything, and they have to show their, their knowledge is progressing as the class goes on. If they don't show that knowledge, then of course they don't do well, but if they continue to work hard on their own time as well as in class, I mean, once you start doing your own research, you going down a path on your own. And I think Uppsala, is, the way that the teaching system is set up here, helps prepare someone better for that because they're learning to be independent thinkers. They're learning to understand the material and to move forward on their own through the material. The professors are really accessible. They usually, if you have a question, you can go stop by their office. If they're not there, you email them. You'll have a response usually within 12 to 24 hours. They're just ready for it. They, this is something that they want to learn. They're, they're excited about learning something new about how the world works. And even talking, about, talking with people in different areas like materials physics or, or theoretical physics or quantum physics, they, they all have something to put into the conversation. And it's nice because sometimes the things merge together. Two things that you didn't think had anything in relationship end up coming together in a strange way. And everyone gets excited about that. And having that type of community here, it, it makes it a pleasure to come to school every day.